Opening the show this evening, we have an A-class full Muay Thai rules bout matched at 70 kilograms and scheduled for five three-minute rounds. And let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner, weighing in at 67.8 kilograms, he fights out of the Mary Port Dragons. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Jackson Marka! Hello and welcome to Yokel 17. I'm Billy Shawman. I'm absolutely beside myself, as usual, because I'm telling you now, this is an absolute sparkler. Yokel 17 here in Bolton, England, the Mac on Center and making his way to the ring. It's Cumbria's Mary Port, I should say. Very own Jackson Barkhouse, a southpaw, trains at Mary Port Dragons with Tommy Collins and Paul Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Jackson Barkhouse. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, very privileged that the former European champion and now I've gone over to the dark side of MMA, Gavin Sterrick. Gavin, what a show we've got here at Yorkow. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. It's uh, very exciting, sold out. Everyone's looking, looking for some good fights tonight. Indeed. Out of the Yorkow Training Centre at the world famous Bad Company Gym in Leeds. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Lou Emerson. Make his way to the ring, it's for a very famous gym indeed. Luke Emerson, the rock hard Yorkshire. Take the back company gym with Richard Smith and all the gang there and Lisa, his wife, and Joe Craven and all the guys, etc, etc. And Southall, third of the blue gym, the last time out. But, very, very quickly, to Jack Bowie. Jack Bowie went out there, well, back up. He's really in good company. Jackson Barkhouse is a late replacement. But Steve Long, who's Steve Long, took himself in the training, so we wish him a speedy and recovery. And this is scheduled for a five, three-minute round. And when the bell sounds, the man in charge of the action is master, Jesse Silvers. One of the best referees in the country. I really like this guy, Jesse Saunders. Gavin, in the blue and silver shorts, Jackson Barkhouse from the Maniport Dragons, who we know very well, we both fought on them. 500 million years ago. A long time, yeah, a Wasn't long time. Just, Makes you feel old. Just, it does, I am old. <laughs> and Luke Emerson in the green and silver train by Richard Smith. A southpaw versus orthodox competition. Contest, I should say. A five three minute round of full Muay Thai rules. And as I said, Jesse Saunders, one of the best in the business. Yokel 17 kicks off to an absolute capacity crowd. Gavin, you've been looking forward to this, haven't you? We've been talking about this for a long time. Yeah, this is, you know, it's, it's the show to be at. Um, you know, two fighters here now, both come from good gyms. Um, looking for a good fight, this. Close. Slow start, inside leg kick there, sharp from back jab. Barkhouse has been around a very long time. He was with him in Thailand in 2004. So that's how long that ago that is. 12 years ago, and he was fighting as a junior then. So he knows his way around the ring. Into the IFMAS as well for Andre Kulabin in the IFMAS. Swapping inside leg kicks, got both in top, top physical shape. Both in very good shape. Uh, both trying to catch the rhythm a little bit as well now, you can see. Barkhouse has started a little bit quicker. Starting to impose his will a little bit more. Scoring in the inside leg kick of Barkhouse, very sharp. Good push kick off the front leg. That's nice. He's got to start blocking them, Emerson. Moving his leg out of the way. Let Barkhouse miss, but it is early doors first round. Yeah, you can see that inside leg becoming to be a problem. If he, if he, if he keeps on letting him land that, I think that could be a problem as the fight goes on. Indeed. Reddening already on Emerson's leg. These two consummate professionals live the sport, as they have to on a show like Yorkow. Again, leg kicks, inside leg kicks, very quick, isn't it, guys? Stinging it, you can see already it's starting to mark up. He needs to address that. Good push kick off the back leg from Barkal, showing nice style. Certainly the more confident of the two. Yeah, he does. He looks that, doesn't he? He's got his rhythm early, but he's distancing very well. He 
nice think. plus kick. This kid's got good balance as well. Very good balance. You feel like Emerson's really got to kind of just wrestle it back from a little bit here now because he's let him get away a little, a little bit too, a little bit too far away. It's gonna be difficult to chase. You've got to really hit Emerson with something extremely heavy to get him out of there. He's a very, very tough man indeed. As they are, we went to these roped circle, as you call it. Nice body kick off the back leg from Barkhouse. Good evasive moves as well, Gavin. Yeah, very good. That Emerson looks the thicker of the two. He looks more, he looks a little bit stronger, a little bit more thicker set. So, uh, you know, we might see him as the fight progresses. There you go. As the fight progresses, coming on a bit more, a bit stronger. Really targeting that front leg, Barkhouse. He definitely has speed on his side. He, he does indeed. You know, like really nice push kick from the lead leg. Very accurate, yeah. Yeah, and he's moving to his left yeah. as well, which is nice to see. He's showing good dexterity, a very good round for Barkhouse. A nice start, he can be confident from that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up on Yorkhouse 17 later on, we have an absolute stormer of a show. We have David Saar versus Darren Howison. That's England versus Scotland. We also have Danny Harrison Little versus Jack Kennedy. Two very good fights indeed, and a, a birth of a new girl. A very good fight indeed. Amy Burney versus Fanny Ramos. Solomon Whitstead versus Jake Purdy. And all sorts going on later on indeed. So. Nevertheless, we'll see. Interesting round, Gavin. The first round, very good scoring inside leg kick. Very hard and very quick from uh, Barkhouse, wasn't it? Yeah, I think Barkhouse has been the more accurate of the two. He's had the better start. Um, you know, we'll look to see this next round now. Emerson come, come and start maybe change the pace a little bit now and push push Barkhouse back a little bit more and see what, see what he comes up with. But, um, If I was back, I would be a much happier, much happier man so far. Well, there you go. Then the expert advice from Gavin Sterrett, the former European champion. Knows what he's on about as we go to round two then. This five three-minute rounds full rules Muay Thai contest here on Yokao 17. And don't forget, coming up, we have some very, very special fighters indeed, including Liam, the hitman Harrison, which is Tetsuya Yamoto. Good work from the inside leg, isn't it? And the, the back leg of Barkhouse is working off that. He, he's picked off exactly where he left off, but I'm, I'm pretty sure Emerson's had some pretty good advice in the corner there. Indeed. Maybe a few strong words, maybe. Yeah. Has to cause an indentation, does he, on Barkhouse? Can yeah. hurt him or... Yeah, I think he's got to give, give him something to think about, you yeah. know, to, to break his concentration a little bit. And, you no, know, make him, make him, make him give him some real thought. It's a different game fight in South Park, isn't it, Gavin? It, it's a different tactic altogether. That's a nice body kick there that from Emerson. Good, good. Yeah, it's a, a, you know, it's a different thing altogether. Everything's back to front with, with South Park. You've really got to switch on, really got to think. It's better from Emerson, but back comes Parkhouse with some. Nice shots from a good right hand made Barkhouse think there, Gavin. Yeah, just made, over the made, left hand. Made him break off a little bit now. He, he just, Emerson's coming back on strong now. And, and you can just see Barkhouse just, just taking a couple of seconds every now and then. Maybe he's starting to have an effect. That was nice work. Good catch and a kick. And the left punch from Barkhouse. Talking about uh, Bar Barkhouse, uh, his inside kicks, you, you can see Emerson now, he's, he's starting to have an effect there. There's a, there's a big welt there on Barkhouse's inside leg. Yeah. So. And outside with the left hand, just brushes that across himself. Emerson, good catch and a kick, good score there to the body. He's starting to land that body kick with a bit of more regularity now. Indeed. 
interesting fight. This two really good talents. Back out, back out his first exposure here on Yokout. So far, he's doing very well. Indeed. Left cross, trying to push Emerson back. That push kick from the lead leg is so nice when he throws it. Emerson seems to have settled a bit more now. needs a double kick so doesn't he Gavin get himself in yeah he's got the measure of him he has got the measure there when he can throw that kick good catch and the kick underneath yeah, that kick landed again though yeah from Barkhouse nice style he sees too aren't they Gavin good to watch very very neat very nothing wasted it's uh, there's very little waste A strong good round for both boxers again very interesting Gavin I'm gonna put you on the fence in each round I'm gonna score that one a left elbow misses him oh to the body he's looking to finish it this is fantastic Reese McCulloch is absolutely oh that's it I would still edge that with Barkhouse I would say but Emerson's coming on coming on strong much stronger now he's scored some with some good body kicks he's starting to he's starting to get to Barkhouse a little bit now I think this next round you might see Barkhouse up the pace a little bit more with a bit more movement maybe and I think Emerson's going to start trying to hunt him down uh, a little bit more and try and hurt that body yeah, so there you go then the wise words of Mr Sterrett himself who's coming up to round three then of this very very interesting contest here at Yokao 17 and coming up later on we have some really good fights we have Manachai Yokao Sanchai Jim, all the way from Thailand with the, and the comeback of Luke Turner. Now listen, that is no mean feat at all. Very difficult to score, uh, very difficult fight for Luke Turner. But you know, there uh, you go. to say we're going to be seeing that later on. But listen, Gavin, this fight's not over. And there's some really, really nice Muay Thai techniques going on, isn't there? Really nice. Really interesting fight. A real kind of a really pick and fight. A, a good match, you know. The One's no sharp, fast, the other one is a little bit, not as fast, but powerful. It's a, it's a real power versus speed battle, this. Go to round three then in the blue and silver shorts, Jackson Barkhouse from the Dragon's Gym in Maryport. Luke Emerson in the green and silver from the Bad Company Gym in Leeds. Round three. This is where it'll start getting going, Gavin. Yeah, he's, he's straight away with that body kick there. He's, he's, on, he's on to him now, is Emerson. Sharp right kick from Emerson. It's distance so well, nice technique. Good combinations. Back comes Barkas with his own. Straight into the clinch. He's got sort of a better position in here, hasn't he, Emerson? Yeah, you can Looks see the stronger, strength, doesn't he? Yeah, the strength's starting to tell, you can see now. Jostling for position here. Jesse Saunders will break that. Too close. No scoring techniques going on. Some of Emerson should get back to, shouldn't he? The clinch looks stronger there, Gavin. Definitely. I think uh, if he applies a bit more pressure now as, as this round goes on, it, it, you know, we might come to some, uh, some some better things. But I think, I think the danger is Barkhouse gets involved in a little bit, you know, just standing in front there of him and, and, and gets involved and does shot for shot. I think that would be a mistake. Emerson strong. It's the speed, isn't it, of Barkas? Like you said earlier, Gavin, it's just got a little bit of edge in quickness, hasn't it? Just a little bit. But you see, as Emerson starts going now, you can see you can see Barkas has definitely slowed from the start of the fight. He had a very good start to the fight, um, and, and he's definitely slowed. That body kick started to tell. But I think Emerson got to see that now and push forward now. Yeah, big score off the back leg for him. Emerson with the right kick. Sorry, uh, sorry. Barkhouse with the left kick, I apologise. Emerson needs to come forward, doesn't he? Go for broke, lift them short, so bite on the gum shield and try and, you know, jostle the younger man out of it, doesn't he? 
Yeah, I think, I think uh, you know, but so not to put a too fine a point on it, it's basically, you know, have a fight, go, go for him and, and, and drag him into a little bit of a firefight. Make his strength tell. I can hear Richard Smith telling Emerson to double kick. And you understand that, so he can get the first. If the first one doesn't land, the second one will if you step in with it. Southpaw is a little bit more different distancing than Orthodox v Orthodox. It's the quietest round for Barkhouse though, this one. Yeah, I think the danger too as well is, is, is that, whereas we were saying before, the, the Barkhouse, you know, not to stand in, in front of the more powerful man, the danger is as well that Emerson stands there and tries to have a bit more of a technical battle with him and he, he's out technique a little bit. Scoring well, twisting. Negating the score though as they both fall down. But he's still gonna be on the judge's eyes. I would give that Barkhouse that round. Yeah, I would give him that as well, yeah. yeah good round. For me though, Emerson really needs to like bite on his gum shooters, as I said earlier in the round, Gavin to haunt his shorts up and just go for broke and put him into a bit of a dog fight. Definitely, definitely. I think that would work definitely in his favour. He's got the physicality there and he's got the size. Um, and I think, it, you know, Barkhouse has, has, has done more work from the from the get-go, so it'd be interesting to see what, he'd got, what he's got in the tank this round, to be honest. He's worked hard up to now. I think Emerson should be testing that. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget also, recently opening our training centre in Bangkok, Thailand. You can train with some of the best. You can train with Crew Manok, Pechdam, Fa, Chananon, Singdam, and Sanchai himself. You can go over there and learn and train with the very best at Yokao Training Centre in Bangkok. We'll have a look at that. You can have www.yokao.com. A left elbow misses him. Oh, to the body. Looking to finish it. Oh, that's it. Look at what's going on in England. You can have a look at yokao.co.uk and see what's what and what's coming up in the Yokao world. We're going to round four then. And the money round, as they call it, in Muay Thai. And we've got Jackson Barkhouse ahead. But you never know with a rock hard. Luke Emerson in the Round green four. and Barkhouse in the, in the blue and silver. Opens again with that, with that body kick again Fairly straight sharp. away. Straight onto him. I think he needs to maintain this pace now. Jesse Sona is just wiping the uh, canvas there. Plus, she got the front legs worked so well, hasn't it, for Barkhouse? It's worked very well. It just took him off his feet a little bit every now and then. That inside leg and the push kick, push kick every now and then. Just, just took him off his feet every now and then. And it's, it's worked very well for him. He's done it again there. Very good. A right hook and a left cross bounce off the chin of Emerson in a nice stepping left knee. Good body kick there from controlling this well. It's impressive this performance by Barkhouse. Very, very well balanced. See, that's where Emerson now needs to come forward now. And as soon as he stops there, he's letting him back in. He needs to come forward and make him work. Really make him work. Go for broke a little bit now, I feel. Yeah. And again, Luke, you it. Come on. Nice hook and a body kick scored by Barkhouse. Right hand that Emerson threw blocks on the left hand. I don't think it's anything that uh, Emerson isn't doing. I think it's more of a case of what Barkhouse is doing. Yeah, Every time indeed. he sort of looks to settle to do something, Emerson just gets push kicked or inside leg or He's very, very clever. He's upsetting he's rhythm, it. isn't he? And he's perplexing. Yeah, he's I think, I think it's a southpaw style of Barkhouse that's perplexing to him. As another, it's the first southpaw he's, he's, he's fought. But, you know, Barkhouse is showing some real, real um, class at the moment, isn't he? he he's, he's very settled now. He's, you know, I think it's took a while for Emerson just to settle down a little bit. And, and in that time, Barkhouse has, has, has settled very well and he's built a bit of a lead up. Good score from Barkhouse again. Just needs to step in, in Emerson, doesn't he? And 
make himself known, make himself felt. Gav. Just there now, you, you can see it. You know, he's, he's, he's not, he's not, he's hurting back. You can see he's hurting. He's, that, that was a big kick, big strong guy. You know, but he's not then pushing the pace, which is, which is, would be the difference. See, like there now, go again he needs now. To step in with that, yeah. doesn't he? Though, Emerson just step, double it up. Nice. Strong kick from Barkhouse. Goes in with combination and ends with a knee. And a good push kick on the end of it. Good distancing. But Emerson is rock hard. It's very tough. Very tough. Yeah. No quitting him, trust that. Nice combination from Emerson. He's very strong. He's very strong when he, when he sits down on those shots. He, he, he gives him something to think about. I think, I think that the thing that has been here more than anything is that Barkhouses give the stuff out that has made Emerson really, really think through this fight. And while he's been thinking and sort of waiting, he's getting picked off. Yeah, so obviously brilliant advice and brilliant knowledge from Mr. Sterrett. So he brought him in, flew him all, his, all the way from down the road. <laughs> but no, Gary, seriously, um, some performance by Barkas already, isn't it? Good, good skills. I mean, he's, he, I think he's, uh, he looks he looks very experienced, very balanced. He very is though, isn't he, anyway? He's experienced. He's, he's, you know, he, he's, he's very uh, very well balanced. And he's not been troubled by the, you know, Emerson looks like a more powerful guy, obviously, and you can see that he is physically. But it's not trouble, not 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 trouble back us at all through this fight. Let's see that. Ladies and gentlemen, please put going your to round five for the fifth and final round. Very good performance by two classy operators. A learning curve for each, and a big big stage for two wonderful talents. But at the minute we've got Barkhouse ahead. Blood and thunder though, aren't they, Gav, from Mary Port? Tough fellas, you really are. Rock yeah. hard, aren't they? I think it's in the uh, I think it's in the water. It is, Seaside Village. Yeah, very, very, very yeah, tough. Yeah, just outside of Carlisle, a Seaside Village. Very tough men. Tommy Collins, superb coach, Richard Smith. He needs no introduction the world over. But this is a superb battle and, and one for the purest, Gav. Definitely. I feel like Emerson now has really got to, you know, just go for broke now, walk, walk on him, walk on him. Just, you know, literally throw the kitchen sink at him a little bit more now and he needs to step in with that kick, doesn't he? he Shuffle he, his le left foot, sweep in. He, he does. And, but and I, put a lot behind it. I think the reason he's nice. not is because Barkhouse, has, has, has that push kick's been on point all night. He does. And I think that every time he's moved, he's been push kicked. And I, I just think it's took his rhythm off him completely. Disturbing rhythm. Uh, like that. Just stepping off to the side. Nice scoring. Good catching some combinations from Emerson. I think this is the sort of fight I think Emerson will look back on and watch and, and be quite frustrated to watch it. Yeah, and I can understand it, but you know, he's, um, he's not had a million fights, you know, Gav, it's all learning. It's all a learning curve. Oh, it's an easy thing to say. It's, yeah, of course it's it is. It's definitely an easy thing to say, but it, 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 it's a good learning fight, this. A really good learning fight. And I don't think he'll see it like that, but he'll be disappointed maybe. But Nice score there from Emerson to the back of Barkhouse. Barkhouse can't let this slip away still going to impress the judges of blocking them shots really well a high tight guard nice in inside leg kick he's got to double that up for me Gav you know yes he's got a really nice style really strong style good strong base come on come on move forward 
Oh, when he has come forward, he has given Parkhouse something to think about. And like now, you know, Parkhouse looks comfortable now. You know what I like about Emerson as well? There's an imagination thrown with the shots. He's trying to look for a gap in the watertight defences of Parkhouse. He is, he is. He's going low and high. Yeah. Trying different combinations of punches. This has been a good fight. One for the purists, as I said. Between two very technically gifted. And good fight is a nice back leg kick. The left leg of Barkhouse. He's impressive. He was impressive. Very impressive. Very he was impressive. very, very impressive. That was a good performance, and you can see the dejection. A left elbow misses him. Oh, to the body. He's looking to finish it. This is fantastic. Reese McCulloch is absolutely oh, on Luke Emerson's face. But that was a very, very calculated, cool performance, wasn't it, from a... A very, very well balanced fighter, you can see. It em was. Emerson will be back. It, yeah, it's it's I, a I, learning curve, isn't it? It really is. I, I don't think Luke Emerson can be, you know, massively disappointed there, to be honest with you. I think, as you say, that's really one of those. As disappointing as it might be for, for, for Luke, it's a real big learning curve of a fight. That, that was a difficult well, fight. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, after five brilliant. hard brilliant. Thought brilliant. rounds, please, brilliant. your brilliant. appreciation for both fighters. A righteous round of applause and just about it tells you very, and very good talent to indeed. The judges scorecards. I enjoyed that fight. And Superb. the judges have reached a unanimous decision in favour of your winner in the blue corner, Jackson. Great performance. Barkhouse. You know, I hope to see. You know, and your appreciation for not the best Luke Emerson. The performances on Yokao, fighting Barkhouse and fighting um, Jack Fallon. But you know, he'll be back. Back to the drawing board, but a, a starring form for me in I Barkhouse. I agree, I think Parkhouse is, is definitely, you know, he's a star there and he's definitely he's very, very good. I think Emerson can go away from that though and it's the kind of fight, he looks like he's got a solid work ethic, you know, he comes from a good gym, so it's the kind of fight you can go away from and get better. Lights up, lights up, thank you.